uh, Revelation chapter 8, starting with uh, verse, say, well, I'll start with verse 6, I'm sorry, verse 6. It says, And the seven angels which had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. And the first angel sounded, the, uh, and there followed hail and fire, mingled with blood, and they were cast upon the earth. And the third part of trees was burned up, and all green grass was burned up. And the second angel sounded, and as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. And the third part of the sea became blood. And the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died. And the third part of the ships were destroyed. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star was called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died in of the waters because they were made bitter. Amen. 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 All, right. All right. So here we are again. Uh, ready for me? Here we are again. Now remember, we had the seven seals. And we've opened the seven seals. Then we had a sort of a, a, a low in heaven, maybe for uh, six months. You don't, you don't know there was a time in heaven, a few months that there was, there was things going on in heaven now, but there was no plagues or, or seals being broken. And then we started out this verse with 30 minutes of complete silence in heaven, you know. Mm. And as Mary told us several weeks ago, this was the calm before the storm. Well, today... We start the storm. <laughs> the storm begins. So after the seven seals, now we're going to have seven angels and seven trumpets. And I, I think it was last uh, uh, week we talked about all the different trumpet sounds. And we had Adam tell us about reveille in the morning and, and retreat and charge. And so now we got the seven trumpets. So uh, in, in uh, verse, I guess it's verse six, the uh, angels prepare to blow the trumpets. All right, we start in verse seven. If you would back there, I think it's verse seven. Mm -hmm. If you would back there, Debbie, read verse seven. The first angel blew his trumpet and hail and fire mixed with blood was thrown down on the earth. One third of the earth was set on fire. One third of the trees were burned and all the green grass was burned. All right, we, we'll get this now. We'll just go over it slowly. And as I go over this, uh, 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 Jimmy, if you'll go to, to Joel chapter 2, Joel chapter two. Uh, verse 30, and uh, Pastor, if you go to Exodus 19, 18 through 26 or somewhere around in there, but I want you to do Exodus 19. So Joel chapter 3, uh, Joel chapter, no, it's chapter, chapter 2. two. Chapter, chapter 2, Joel chapter 2, verse 30. Okay. So the first angel blew his trumpet, and hail and fire mixed with blood, well, think about that, was thrown down on the earth. Now get this picture, is what it says. Hail and fire mixed with blood was thrown down on the earth. Think about that. Wow. It didn't, it didn't say it rained, it was thrown down on the earth. And, and, um, and one third of the earth was set on fire. One third of the trees were burned. And all the green grass was burned. Not one third now. All the green grass was burned. Okay. So, uh, t t take your time, guys. I want to go to Joel chapter 2, verse 30. Mary got it for you? Okay, All right, read that for me. Verse 30, okay, here we go. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. So uh, uh, God gives us sort of a, a, a preview of what's going on before we get to tribulations. Blood and fire and pillars of smoke is what Joel says. He, I show you wonders in the heaven. Blood and fire and pillars of smoke. And we're going to talk a little bit about the hell in Exodus 9, maybe 18 through 26. Uh, was it 9 or 19? 9. I think it's 9. 19? What, what are you... What are you what do you specifically want? We the hail coming, coming down. down on the mountain, or you, you no? I want the hail, the hail coming down. I think it's nine. <laughs> so 
Yeah, Exodus 9. I said 19. I think it's 9. You did. And I thought, well, there's John coming down. And no, no, no. It's pretty good. Hail, and and the hail coming thunder down. And, and a cloud. And I was like, well, All right, we're going to, what are we trying to do here? Well, I got two or three things going on in my head at the same time, guys. I'm sorry. <coughs> Start there around 18 and just read what you want to read. Exodus chapter 9, I think. 18. Start with 18. Is that where it is? Uh, so tomorrow at this time, I will send a hailstorm more devastating than any in all uh, the history of Egypt. Yep, yep, yep. Read on, read on. Quick, order your livestock and servants to come in from the field to find shelter. Any person or animal left outside will die when the hail falls. Some of Pharaoh's uh, officials were afraid because of what the Lord had said. They quickly brought their servants and livestock in from the fields, but those who paid no attention to the word of the Lord left theirs out in the open. And the Lord said to Moses, lift up your hand toward the sky so hail may fall on the people and uh, the livestock and all the plants throughout the land of Egypt. So Moses lifted his staff towards the sky. The Lord sent thunder and hail and lightning flash toward the earth. The Lord sent a tremendous hailstorm against all the land of Egypt. Never in all the history of Egypt had there been a storm like that with such devastating hail and continuous lightning. It left all of Egypt in ruin. The hail struck down everything in the open field, people, animals, and plants alike. Even the trees were destroyed. The only place without hail was the region of Goshen, where the people of Israel lived. Okay, so again, God has given us a preview of what's going to happen in Revelations. This is a small part. Now, has, has God given up and, and not given us any previews of massive fires? Do we, do we have no warning signs now? The only warning signs we had and maybe it was in Exodus and Joel. Or we have any warning signs now of massive fires? You know, Israel's on fire today. Mount Kilimanjaro is on fire. Yeah. What, uh, Did you see that? Yeah. They sent 500 firefighters to put out the fire. A gigafire is what they call it. What? A gigafire. I've never heard such a term before in my life. Such a, such a firestorm they've never had before. What about Australia? Wasn't it on fire not, not long yeah. ago? Yeah. Was not Australia on fire? Of course, California. How about California? Let's get to right here in the United States. I have a brother that lives in California. The smoke got so bad, they couldn't go outside. This is my brother. They said that the air pollution in California oh, yeah. was worse than anywhere in the world. Wow. So turn, turn, the, turn the sun and the moon to blood. It was yeah. red. Everything. Yeah. The sky was red. Have you seen those pictures? Oh, yeah. Amazing. Amazing dust, dust and smoke and stuff went everywhere. You know, I, I talked to him and we were we were having some possibly some hurricanes coming up here, and I told him I'd much rather have a hurricane than a fire. You know, it's burning, burning, burning. People die. They, oh, oh, oh! Here you go. Look at this. Look at this. Now, and there's a fireman. I think it, think it, Chip, because there's a fireman. You think you can put that fire out? There he is. He, he got, he's, he's out there fighting it. He's like he's digging trench to try to keep it from blowing over. Digging dig a trench? Mike, dig a trench? Okay, let, let, let's, let's think about this. We'll, we'll, we'll start out there. We'll start out with Jimmy, but think about this. Jimmy, you're laying in bed one morning and you wake up and your house is on fire. Mm. So you, you, you get Mary up and outside, outside you go as quick as you can. You get outside, your barn's on fire. You, you look up and, and, and your car and truck is on fire. Everything's on fire. You run over to the neighbor's house, their house is on fire. Their barn and stuff's on fire. Maybe the next neighbor you hear screaming. Maybe they got out of the house, but maybe the kids didn't get out of the house. Or the pets didn't get out of the house. It's on fire. Uh, you run down where the, the chicken coop is or the barn and you hear the cows and the, the, the chickens screaming because it's on fire. Well, you're, you're out of there. You, you look, look here, look here. Oh, wow. it's great! Wow, it's great. And we got a little pond. We'll, we'll put a pond in our story. We'll put a little pond in. Might as well fill it. I mean, pond. you need water, they, right? They, yeah, water. yeah, yeah. You need water. When you ran out of the house, Adam. When you ran out of the house, did you stop by the refrigerator and get yourself a, a soda or something? As you ran out of the house, the house is on fire. Did you stop and get a soda? Probably, Probably, Probably not. not. Probably not. Probably not. Run to get to well, <laughs> but the well's on fire. You know, you can't get no water out of the well. You know, you can't, you grab the water hose to put out the fire, but now the electric poles is on fire. Maybe you have your cell phone and maybe you can get a call through to the fire department 
And you call the fire department and said, man, there's a devastating fire out here. My house is on fire. My barn's on fire. My neighbor's house is on fire. My car's is on fire. Can you get out here quick? They said, well, we, 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 we tried to, but the firehouse is on fire. And the fire trucks is on fire. And everybody's got fire out here. Well, well, well what's going on? Maybe you gather up all the people you can gather up and you head down to the pond. Maybe when you get down to the pond, there's a boat there. And it's not, but being it's on a pond, it's not on fire. You get everybody in the boat and you get out in the middle of the pond and think, wow, you maybe have a little water to drink. What happens? Hail starts coming down from the sky. Right. Big, giant uh, 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 things of hail, that big around. Not no little big, giant things of hail coming that big around. Now, what do you do? Do you stay out there in the boat and take a chance at that boat? Or do you run back into the fire? Because now the trees is on fire. Now the fence is on fire. Now even the grass is on fire. I mean, what's, what's your next step, see? Now, okay, you, you, you're in, this is in the tribulation. So you say, I'm going to get down on my hands and knees, and I'm going to ask God to come into my life and get saved. Great. That's great. Great. That's great. But you're still in the fire. It's still oh. raining hail. This yeah. hail is still coming down. I mean, you know, it, you know. I mean, your 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 family. If you got your family out of your house, your family's there. But I mean, what are you? How are you going to save your family? You know, and and and, and the boat's kind of small. Maybe maybe the neighbor guy says, you know, I like Jimmy a lot, but this boat's kind of small. <laughs> and my family's more important than Jimmy's family. You know, toss Jimmy out of the boat. You can swim till this fire is over with if you want to, a paddle water, you know. What does it say? Now, listen to what it says here. Let's get back to this. One third of the earth, when there was a fire in Australia, how much of Australia was burnt? When there was a fire in California, how much of the United States was burnt? When there was a fire in Israel or in Mount Kilimanjaro, or how much of the this says one third of the earth? How far are you, are you? Are you going to run for the hills? The hills is on fire. That's right. Are you going to run to the ocean? You know, can you get can you get that far? The water or the water there is salty. You can't drink it. You know, I mean, really, what are you going to do if this happens to you? Look, look at that. Look, that's a good. That's a good job up there. Look at that fire. Where are you going to run? You know. Everything is on fire. Uh, let, me, let me get this one here. Not only is the, the uh, one third, and, and when it's over with, when it finally gets over with, one third of the earth will be set on fire. One third of the trees will be burned up and all the green grass is burned up. So let's say, let's say you're in the middle of North Carolina and you survived it. You, you survived it. You, somehow, some way you survived it. Where are you going to go? If one third of the, the United States is burned up, that meant everything in Virginia is burned up, everything in North Carolina, everything in South Carolina, everything in Kentucky, everything in Tennessee, everything around you is burned up. I mean, I, 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 I won't say how old some people are, but some of us in here are in our 60s. Are we going to be able to walk a thousand miles to get out of this? We don't have anything to drink. We don't have anything to eat. If we started on the journey, we would die of thirst or die of starvation. You know, is, is somebody going to come and rescue you? There's no one to rescue you. Who's coming to rescue you, see? Go ahead. And, and I, I, I want to just read this little snippet out, out, okay. of, out of the commentary. It says, uh, but it's obviously a reference to Exodus that, that you've got us reading. It says, but there... Uh, here the blood marks the plague is more terrible and more distinct and miraculous. The stones of hail and the balls of fire fell in a shower of blood, just as hail and fireballs commonly fall in a shower of rain. So if you can imagine, you ever, it's been raining outside and all of a sudden the hail starts falling and you hear it hitting the roof and here in the house. You, you imagine though the blood has fallen with it. How much worse that's going to be when you look over at your spouse or your, your loved one or your kids and I mean, they're, just, they're just covered in them. Blood. Instead of being wet with rainwater, it's blood. The boat's bloody. The car's bloody. The house is bloody. Everything's on fire, and whatever's left that's not on fire, that's not burning, that you're trying to run to, it's got blood on it. It's just creepy. Yeah. You look like one of those horror films, you know, with the, yeah. the crazy lady covered in blood or something walking out on the, from the movie set. It's just, 
And it's creepy. And it's, I, I don't know, I, I've been in a snowstorm before trying to do work in the middle of a snowstorm. And the snow hit me in the face trying to get work done. It just, it just makes you so just frustrated and discombobulated. You can't get the work done because it's all, I mean, it's just coming at you. It's hard to drive in. It's hard to do it because you can see it, unlike rain. Could you imagine if it's blood coming at you? I mean, you can't, how are you going to focus to do anything? You know, you're trying to wipe the stuff off so you can see, wipe it off of your face so you can see. I just, anyways. And if it was if it was rain coming down, it's not. I mean, maybe you could get some capture some rain somehow. And and uh, oh yeah, look at that fire coming down. Look at that. Wow. Look at it coming down. Yeah. Everywhere. And, and it's like if if you could capture some rain, you might be able to quench some of your thirst. But it's not rain; it's blood. See, it, it, it's it's not coming down, and it's not raining down. It's throwing down. I, you know, I, I look at that word that it, when it says it was thrown and blood were thrown down on the earth. Throwing down. I think about that. Man, if I throw something at you, I mean to hit you with it. Right. You know, if it's just raining, but I'm throwing, I'm, I mean, it, I'm throwing stuff at you. I'm throwing hail and, and fire and blood. I'm throwing it at you. Go ahead. And it's coming down with force. That's right. If, if, if uh, Nolan Ryan could throw a, a, a fastball 100 mile an hour, whoever is up there throwing it down, how fast is he throwing it down? That, that first table. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, the, the uh, baseball is this big. The hail coming at you is that big. So, can you imagine? You imagine. I mean, you imagine how, you know, we was talking about the seals and we said, these, these trumpets is going to be worse than the seals. You can see how worse... And, and guys, I want to tell you, the four are bad, but the three after the four is worse than the four. It gets, gets consecutively worse. It is getting worse. So uh, uh, we got Joel and Exodus giving us a, a, a glimpse of, of destruction. I don't know that it, it's hard to even, it's, so, it's sort of, this is a good depiction, but it's sort of, it's unimaginable. It's sort of, it really is everything that. is on fire. Everything is destroyed and there's no way out and there's no help coming. See, I mean, if we get any kind of trouble now, we know we can call and help will come. It may take a while, but help will come. But in this, there's no help coming, see? You call Fort Bragg. We need help. Oh, it's burned up. Burned down. All the helicopters, all the planes, everything, everything on this side of the United States is burned up. It's gone. Everything in the Southeast is gone, see? Whatever, whatever part it is, you know? Now, how many people is going to die in this? You know, there's the, there's the immediate death which probably would be the better death. There's the immediate death, and then there's the death afterwards. The great. Oh, oh, there you go. What do we got here? That's the fires? The, the Western wildfires. Mount Mapa. Wow. I remember, was it last year, year before last, the fire in Tennessee? Was that last year? When was that? They showed the fire in Tennessee and the people driving through it? That was just unbelievable. Two years ago. Two years ago. Uh, uh, Pigeon Forge, yeah, Pigeon Forge was three. Okay, I, my time is no. But I, they, those people was driving through the fire, and the fire was just, and and it just it was it just killing people. They was trying to get out. There was no way to get out. Now remember, those guys was in automobiles trying to get out. What if your automobile was on fire? You know, now you're trying to get out on foot. See, yeah. I mean, it, <laughs> I don't want to. Again, we're not trying to scare people with what this is telling us, but we're just warning people to let people know, you don't want to go through this. You don't want any family members of yours to go through this. You don't want any friends. You don't even want your worst enemy to go through this. You don't want anybody to go through this. This is how devastating it's going to be. Oh boy. <laughs> and, and this, is the, this, is, this is already after the four horsemen. This is already after a, a number of people have died, uh, a, a number of, of starvation and famine and uh, you know, there's all this stuff is already happening in the midst of it. So, again, maybe somebody will ask a, a, a really good question to our, our teacher and say, how long between the first trumpet, the second, the second, the third, and so forth and so on? How long between trumpets? And, and maybe he can give you a timeline. But you imagine if, if we put ourselves in the three and a half year mark when we started this, uh, this specific chapter, or we, we were in round chapter seven, we were in this pause. If we were pausing right there in the middle of it, mm -hmm. we've already gone through three and a half years of famine, 
and, and uh, other rough things that have happened. The economy's collapsed, uh, there's wars breaking out, there's, what is it, two, 200,000, 200 million, two, 200 million. 200 million people dead. There's a, a ton of people that have been wiped off the face of the earth. I mean, now all of a sudden, this hits. And, and you guys remember, I mean, when the, when the, when the hailstorm comes, if it's small hailstones, fine. But if it's big hailstones, I mean, every, every, like the one that we, that we read about in Exodus, I mean, yeah, you're, you can't run outside in that and not get physically harmed. I mean, even if you do try to run outside of your house that's on fire, I mean, you can only take so much hail damage to the, to the body before your body's done, you know. So, I mean, I can imagine trying to run outside and saying, God, forgive me, please accept me. And the hail is just pelting you. I mean, it's just while you're, you know, your, your, your house is on fire. Anyways, so you, you're already starved. Yeah. You know, you're already starved. The economy's already busted. You're already deciding where, when, if you remember, we went through the, the, the famine where in the Old Testament, the, the women were fighting over whose kid they were going to eat that day to stay alive. Yeah. I mean, you, you imagine being so hungry and then all of a sudden, <laughs> trumpet number one. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, God gives us, he, he, he starts out, and again, we're in heaven, guys. It's not going to happen to us. We're, we're in heaven. This is going to be the people left here on the earth. Go ahead. You know those, those plagues you had me read over here in Egypt? Yeah. You know the, the seven didn't, the last seven didn't touch Goshen? Anyways, moving on. The, the, yeah, the, they didn't touch Goshen because who lived in Goshen? God's people. The Israelites, God's people. Yeah, those, la those last God's seven, people. seven, like the seven years of yeah. tribulation, those seven didn't yeah. touch God's people. God's people, see. Anyway. <laughs> So, so, so you think about this. I mean, we're in heaven, so this is not going to affect us. So God opened up the seven seals. And he, he showed the people, okay, guys, it, it's bad. Turn to me. Remember, yeah. we got 144,000 out there. That's right. Preaching the gospel. Just That's got a seal, of, some kind of a seal. You know, uh, the, Mary told us to seal in her head. 12,000 from each tribe. Yeah. Huh? 12,000 from each tribe. 12, 144,000 Jews that became Christians. So Christian Jews is what we have. They're out there preaching the gospel. We have, we have the seven seals being opened and we got all that done. And then we had this law, see, and people still did not turn to God. Refused. And now we have the first of seven trumpets opened up and a third of the earth is burned, burned up. A third of the trees is burned up. A third of everything is burned up except the grass and all of it's burned up, you know. So if you had cattle to survive, if you had animals to survive, what are they gonna eat? Now, yes, given time, the grass probably would grow back. But like, you, like the pastor said, I am sure that in chapter nine, we're in the last three and a half years, but I'm sure now we're in the last three and a half, we went through three and a half years and I, I'm sure by the time we get to chapter nine, we're definitely in the last three and a half years because uh, somebody's turned loose on this earth. Right. So we, we know that we're in the last three and a half years and that, that part. But I mean, this is this plague is boom. Maybe it, maybe it, maybe this thing lasts. How long, how long is this going to take to burn a third of the earth? and a third of the trees. How long is these fires, once something, if you, if, you, if you start a fire, how long will a fire last? Just keep going and going and going, say. Does it last two months? Does it last three months? Does it last, how long is this fire gonna last, see? And how long will it take, you know? I know they, they some, some houses, you know, when, when I was a fireman, some houses would burn up in just a, a short period of time. But some houses would just be on fire and stay on fire. And then we'd put it out and the fire would start it back and we'd come back the next day. Sometimes we'd be going for a week trying to get that fire out. Maybe we weren't good firemen. <laughs> but, you know, but you think you've got these forest fires. How long has the forest fires been going on in the United States? When did those things start? Anybody know when they, out, out, they've been going on how many months now? Months this thing's been going on. Months it's been going on. So they haven't been able to get it out. And... And this thing's gonna be even worse, you know. And remember, there's nobody fighting this fire. There's no way to fight it. All right. And, you know, yeah. Yeah. Don't wanna, <laughs> I just wanna put it in perspective. I mean, I don't wanna, <laughs> okay. Where are we at? Verse eight. Uh, Mary, if you would, verse eight, we'll just do verse eight and nine. That, that's the whole, the thing goes to, 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 to them, right? Okay. Yes. <clears throat> 
And the second angel sounded, and as it were a great mountain burning with fire, was cast into the sea. And the third part of the sea became blood. And the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died. And the third part of the ships were destroyed. Okay, so we see this is going to be, the fire is going to be on earth, but now we're going to have fire on the ocean. Okay, so uh, uh, Exodus, uh, where, okay, uh, um, Adam, Exodus chapter 7, verse uh, 20 and 21. Uh, Cassie, Jeremiah 51, 25. We'll, we'll try to get some of these verses in here. Take your time, Exodus chapter seven. And I hope I got these verses right. I'll throw them down there quick. I'm so excited. I, was, I, I tell my wife, write this, write this. You know, if I write it, I can't read it. So she's writing it. And sometimes I give her the wrong scriptures. I'm, I get excited when I, when I read this stuff. Verse 21. Uh, Exodus chapter 20 and 21, I think. Seven. Exodus chapter seven, 20 and 21. Did I get it wrong? Sounds pretty close. Okay. And Moses and Aaron did so, as the Lord commanded. And he lifted up the rod and smote the waters that were in the river in the sight of Pharaoh and in the sight of his servants. And all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. Mm -hmm. Now, now think about that. We have a glimpse of this. Here we have in, in Exodus chapter 7, all the waters is turned to blood. All the waters is turned to blood. And of course, what happens? The, the fish die and everything in that, whatever is in that water dies, see. And if you drink that water, of course, then you'll die. And then that, look at that chip. <laughs> chip, you got a good one up there for me, though. I'll get to that one third. We got a good up there. Second trumpet. Oh, oh, Chip! Look at the fire on the on the on the ocean here. Chip, that's good. We'll, we'll get to that. Leave that up there, Chip. Don't 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 take that down. Because this will be the last one to do. Jeremiah fifty one twenty five. Burnt rubble? Maybe that's it. Burnt rubble. I don't know. All right. So, huh? Good. 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 I see. So look at there. We got the fire on the okay. One third of the sea becomes blood, right? Mm -hmm. One third of the sea life fishes are let die. One third of all the ships are destroyed. Think about that. One third of all, and, and of course, if the ships are destroyed, then those on those ships are destroyed with them. I mean, you know, the ships are being destroyed. What are the guys going to do? Jump into a fiery water? You know, I mean, where are they going to go? I got down here. We cannot stop God's wrath from coming upon this earth. So we need to tell people that God's judgment is coming so they can get saved and be rescued from God's wrath. All right. This is a very good one. So you see all the, so we had all the earth or a third of the earth burning up. Now we got a third of the oceans on fire and turning to blood. And a third of the waters is blood. A third of all the fish. A third of all the, it would just be all up, Jimmy, if we finally made it to the sea. <laughs> and it took us two or three months to get to the sea. By the time we got to the sea, we'd say, oh, we've made it to the ocean here in North Carolina. I don't know how long it takes to walk to the ocean. Right. We finally got, and then they would turn to blood. And it, it would catch on fire. And all the ships would burn up. And all the fish, we, we finally go to, we headed out, if we headed out, someone help me, if we headed out and started walking, if a guy can walk a pretty good length, if we started out walking to, to the ocean from here, how long would it take us to get there? If we, if we could walk that far. How many miles can you walk in a day? And you have to rest and sleep, you know, but how many miles? 10 miles a day? 10 sounds like a good, a good average. 
Okay. How far is it to the... Just a short stretch of legs. <laughs> Just a short stretch of the legs. <laughs> That's what she said, Maureen O'Hara. All you, all you John Wayne fans out there. Anyway. Uh, how many miles is it to, the, to, to Wilmington? To Chip, you know? 325, that's good. So if we go 10 miles a day, it would take us uh, 32 days to walk it. So we got there, so 32 days, to, somehow we escaped uh, the, the wrath of God when he came to burning up a third of the earth. And so in 32 days, we finally get to the ocean. Guess what? A third of it turns to blood. A, a, a third of it, I got a third of the sea life becomes blood. A third of the sea life, a third of the sea becomes blood. A third of the sea fish die. A third of all the ships are destroyed. I want to read this again. <clears throat> then the second angel blew his trumpet and a great mountain of fire. That was where Jeremiah come in, a great mountain of fire. Thank you. I knew there was something about a mountain of fire. Yeah. And a great mountain of fire was thrown into the sea. Again now, a great mountain of fire was thrown into the sea. Now, you know, guys, I want, I want, I want to, you know, people say uh, someone put off an atomic bomb or, or, or uh, someone made something an explosion. Was there an explosion that started the fires in California? No. no. Was there an explosion that started the fires in Australia? No. No, see, God, through the, through the uh, uh, allowed it to happen through the environment. Lightning struck, uh, hail come down from the, the sky. It says a great mountain of, now it may, it may be we had, a, we had in, in the last, we had meteors coming down, you know. We, we might have that coming up. Maybe it's a great big giant meteor. I don't know. From, from, the, from the Mars or something coming down here. But a great mountain of fire was what again? Thrown into the sea. Thrown into the sea. I like that. One third of the water in the sea became blood. So I guess this thing was like in, 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 in the other verse. This thing was mixed in blood. And we had fire and hail and blood. So evidently there's, there's blood in this great mountain. Uh, uh, one, third of, one third of all the things living in the sea died and one third of all the ships of the sea were destroyed. How big was that mountain? Wow. How big was that mountain? If one third of the, uh, the ocean turned to blood. One third, how, how big was that, that mountain? That mountain was cast into the sea or excuse me, thrown into the sea. Do you, you have something over there? Uh, yeah, I was, I was looking up a couple of commentaries trying to say that what Jeremiah had and what John has here okay. is a is a volcano, mm. and they have a it's a, a mountain on fire would be a volcano thrown into the sea, um, and you know uh, I was looking up the word fire there, um, it it that word specifically is is like the heat from the sun it's so hot, uh, you know oh. uh, not just not just like fire that we have fire you know out in the thing we start a fire for the block but a, like hot like as hot as the sun fire it's. Part like, of the sun was like that, lightning type or or uh, sur surface of the sun type fire. So uh, you, you know, different people have different words for things, uh, different languages. We try to we just have fire, but they, there's there's different ones. So, anyways, I was trying to dig around and get you all that all that information real quick. Uh, I, I don't know that it is a volcano. That's just that's speculation. Uh, of you know, I got a volcano coming up. I'm sure you do. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, yeah, a, a mountain of fire. That I mean, that that looks like a volcano erupting in the background yeah, to me. Yeah. But you know, oh, uh, oh, that's a, I'm sorry, Chip. I didn't see that one. You know, if you you have something that's, uh, but at the same time, I, I don't know how big of a mountain you'd have to have to have <clears throat> water moved so severely that everything dies. I mean, a, a mountain hitting the hitting the ocean could cause a tidal wave. Yeah. I mean, it, it could cause it could cause things to just burst in an eruption again, like a bomb hitting the ocean. Yeah. Everything around it in a certain radius is going to die. I mean, I, there's there's so many things we could speculate here on. Um, we could be here quite a long time speculating. So uh, you know, I don't want to read anything into the Word of God that's not there, like you were saying, an atomic bomb or something of that nature. But yes, God is. Uh, very clearly in the Old Testament, chosen to use the elements because you, you can't fight against the elements. Uh, we talked about it one time here on a Sunday morning. I mean, you can't you can't nuke a hailstorm. 
right? You can't send up F-15s and just take out a health. It's just not going to work. Hurricane, a hurricane. I mean, tornado. You can't, you can't do that. So you cannot fight and win against God. There's nothing possible. No matter the satellites or the the technology, we can't we can't do anything. So uh, no matter how many lasers or iron domes we, we put up, it's just not going to work. So, uh, again, that's all I was, I was digging. Well, that, that, like, that, 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 that's very good. I mean, so I mean, the, the, what what could we do as an as a nation if there was a, if one third of the earth was on fire and we went out to the water to get the water to put the fire out? The water's burning up. It's on fire. Look at that fire. How, you know, the planes. If the plane, if we had planes, if they weren't burned up, the plane couldn't scoop down there and pick up the water like they do and come and dump it. They would catch on fire. I mean, it's. You know, uh, you have these ships that have the, uh, you know, the great big water things on that shoots out, the water cannons they call them. Yeah. Well, the ship, one third of the ships is gone. Yeah. It's destroyed, you know. Uh, so uh, we How want- How many of those are cargo ships? How many yeah. of those are oil tankers? That's right. How many of those are cruise liners? Yeah, we, we cruise liners. A third of the ships, how many of those are warships? Uh, again, you can start start putting. We ain't talking about little rickety, you know, fishing boats. No. You know, we, or we could be talking about the big fishing boats that are out there trying to do some fishing. I mean, you know, those uh, what's that that show they have on Discovery where they do the crabs when they're out there crab fishing. I mean, you know, there's a third of the boats. You start putting all the different boats that are out there on the ocean at any given time. I mean, you ain't getting your Amazon in the mail. <laughs> You're not getting oil brought in to your yeah. country to get gas. Or, or to heat your house, you know what I mean? You're not, you're not getting fish, you're not getting your cod sandwich at the restaurant. You, you know I mean? It's just, it's just not happening. You know, all that's, all that's gone. You, you know, the, the, the psalmist tells us to meditate on the Word of God. And so, we, when we're into this, we want, you to, we want you to feel what's going on. We want you to experience what's happening. I mean, we want you to meditate on it. Just, and, and people do that, and I, I have done it in the past. You read over it and you don't you don't digest it. You don't you don't think about what are we going what's going on here, see? Yeah. So we want you to get a picture and, and Chip is doing a great job coming up with these pictures. They're, they're the, 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 the angel is blown his trumpet and they're the looks like the whole world's on fire. Well, if you was in a mix of that, you would think your whole world was on fire, see? So we, we want you to get a picture of it, a, a visual picture if you can or a, in your mind don't just read over it. These are devastating events that's happening. And <laughs> he's the timekeeper. I'm telling you, in heaven, he's going to be doing this. It's going to be his job. In heaven, behind the throne of God, right over top of God's head, 755. <laughs> I mean, that's what it's going to be. Right. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The 12 seasons that change with the, with the fruits on the tree. That's right. Five more minutes on this season, then we're moving on. Apples is everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Go on to oranges. You know? <laughs> That's yeah, that's what I say. It's that's gonna good. be great. That's gonna be his job. But the, I think does a great Chip does a great job, guys. All right, so uh, we we got uh, a couple more trumpets to blow, and then we got some woes to go through. Yeah. And uh, didn't, didn't quite make it to the third trumpet. Did we? Didn't we? Did, did we? Oh, oh my! Didn't quite make well, it somebody the, read the third trumpet. We we'll just read it to the wormwood. Or the, oh, or the wormwood! Or oh, the bitter, my. whichever way your, your translation. Oh is. my my! Yes, so. Bitter, the bitterness, the bitter. Oh, we didn't. No, we didn't get to that. Yeah, we didn't get to that. How many more trumpets we got till we get to the woes? Two more, right? That's a couple. Yeah. Well, we're we'll trying to get to them next week. Uh, but uh, uh, and, and then, guys, I, I'm I'm serious now. We're going to get to the bitter, the bitter, the wormwood, and but this is really. We're going to get to first two more trumpets. This is really nothing compared to when you get into the fifth, sixth, and seventh trump. They're way, way worse. Yes. Come back if you want to hear it. <laughs> They're way, way worse than the first four trumpets. You think, how could it be worse than that? Oh, it is. It's going to be way, way worse. The fifth, uh, the sixth, and seventh trumpet, you know, one, two, three, yeah. It's going to be way, the last three are going to be way worse than the first four. You say, how can that be? But it is. And you, you, you'll, you'll, you'll see that it is when you, when you, if, when you come. We won't get to that. We won't get. We'll get to. We'll try to do the second uh, two next week, and then we'll try to get the woes in because I got, uh, I got to have the pastor look that up for me because I, I don't quite understand what people are saying. You know, I, I don't. I, I, I'm, everything I give you is old stuff. Everything I give you is old. 
I don't have any new interpretations. I just don't have. I, I just don't have it. So all my stuff is old. So you get guys that study the Bible and read the Greek and, and they come up with a little bit different angle, not too much different. And I don't understand that. And so I'll bring it to, to pastor. He knows all that good stuff. And I don't know why they say what they're saying. So we'll, we'll, we'll try to have that all worked out by the time we, we get around to it. But uh, really what you're going to get here is hundreds of years of this is the way the Bible is taught. And so that's what you got. Traditional Bible teachings is what the Bible is taught and get a picture of what's going on and knowing that we don't, we're not, we're not going to be now. We're not, we're not going to go through this. We're going to be in heaven while this is going on, celebrating, having a great time around the throne of God. I mean, we're going to, you know, but we don't want anybody to go through this. We don't want no one to go through this. It's way worse than having the coronavirus. I mean, it's, we don't want anybody to go through this. All right. That's pretty good. Thanks. Right. Talk to you people. All right. Yeah. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe. I think we have, I think we looked up, we had 37 subscribers. So we've gained some subscribers. I think the last time I looked, we had 33. Now we've got, I think, 37 if someone will look. So thank you, whoever's subscribing. Thank you very much for the new subscribers. Yes, ma'am. New, new like tipple and, and somebody maybe will show you after, after how to subscribe. And please share it now. Try to share it with five people. You're getting the word of God out by sharing this stuff. So please try to share it. It's only going to be 30 or 40 minutes long. It's not like hours of preaching. You know, it's just like watching a, a TV show or something. I don't know what you're trying to say. I don't know what you're trying to say. Yeah, anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. Thank you very much. And join us for Sunday morning worship or for Wednesday night uh, Bible study. The youth also do their uh, Wednesday night stuff just for them on Wednesday nights. Uh, we would love to have you all are welcome here at New Life Temple. Uh, if you need us, give us a call, send us an email, leave a comment below. Uh, whatever you need to do to get in touch with us, we are here in Spring Hope and we are here to spread the love of Jesus and uh, to preach the gospel and to help in any way we can. Uh, listen, we, we're not asking for money. We're not asking for donations. Uh, we are just here to spread the gospel and to be the hands and feet of Jesus. Uh, come join us. We'd love to have you. We have a great time studying the word. We have a great time in worship. Uh, we are here for you. Stop by, check us out, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.